As Fox prepares for the defamation case against them to go to trial next week, they are already in trouble with the court. Today, the judge overseeing Dominion Voting System's lawsuit against Fox sanctioned the network for withholding evidence. That came after Dominion's lawyers revealed a number of instances in which Fox's lawyers had not turned over evidence in a timely manner, including recordings of the Fox News host Maria Bartiromo talking with former President Trump's lawyer Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani, which Dominion said had been turned over only a week ago. Judge Eric Davis also said that, quote, he would very likely appoint a special master to investigate whether Fox's lawyers mishandled or withheld material. Joining me now is someone who is inside the courtroom today, Eric Wempel, the media critic for The Washington Post, who is covering the trial. Um, Eric, I was following your dispatches from inside the court today, and we'll get to that, that ruling. But before we even get to that, it sounded like the judge really sort of let the Fox uh, lawyer, Dan Webb, who's a sort of famous, legendary litigator, have it today in that courtroom. What, what was that about? Well, there were two days of pretrial hearings yesterday and today. And honestly, you know, uh, the judge, Judge Eric Davis, Delaware uh, judge, has spent the past two days basically scolding the entire Fox uh, News legal team in one way or another. Today was particularly, uh, I would say, a stringent, take, uh, particularly acute because he was very upset with the Fox News team because of evidence that emerged that they didn't share the actual title of Rupert Murdoch, the Fox mogul, with respect to Fox News. This is a technical matter, but it really is important because Rupert Murdoch's title at Fox News is very closely entwined with how much discovery materials Dominion could get. And um, there's really some very convincing evidence um, that Fox's team was not forthcoming enough in telling the court and Dominion um, what Rupert Murdoch's title was and what his status was vis-a-vis -vis Fox News. Now, he's obviously the chair of Fox Corp., which is the parent company, but there's, there's this really important uh, corporate consideration that impacted how much discovery materials Dominion could expect and got uh, from Fox. And, um, and the judge said this is very serious and that he, he didn't feel that he had uh, a sense of trust and there was this long back and forth with, with Webb in which he said, um, you know, do you not tell a judge? Do you not tell a judge what's going on? Do you not share information with the judge? Um, and this got very uncomfortable. And Webb, I must say, did very poorly in responding to the judge. The judge was looking for, a, you know, a really apologetic um, and conciliatory approach from Webb. And Webb just seemed confused. Yeah, and and this there's a sort of technical question about whether whether Murdoch is an officer of of, of Fox right. News and whether if he was an officer the sort of parameters of discovery would be different. Um, and they seem to have kind of just kind of hid the ball a little bit and and not been forthcoming about whether it was. He turns out he is an he is an officer, which would entitle them to more uh, discovery. And now there's the question of these other rulings, which basically is the judge saying like we don't actually trust that you've turned over everything that you should have, which is a, a sort of big, big no-no in, in this kind of situation. Right. The, the, uh, a lawyer for Dominion got up and said, here's all this other stuff that we should have gotten. We're finding it through other means, and it matches our search criteria. We should have gotten this through discovery. Where is it? We don't hmm. have trust in Fox News. We don't know what to do, and we lay it before the court. And, and, and the judge just said, again, this is very serious. I'm thinking of having a special master investigate this. I'm sanctioning you by forcing you to pay for any, uh, this is telling to Fox, I'm telling Fox that they must pay for any additional depositions that need to be conducted because they didn't produce this material on time. Fox News does say that at least one of the instances, these are the tapes of Maria Bartiromo talking with Sidney Powell and Rudy Giuliani, they say that they, they told Dominion the moment they found out about these tapes. But either way, the, the amount of material that Dominion said they didn't get and were entitled to is much bigger. And, you know, look, Fox News has, is, is, is on the wrong side uh, of this. You know, it has a very difficult legal case here. Uh, most experts believe, and, and it, it's, it's, it's incontrovertible, that they have an uphill battle legally. But now... These sort of uh, these sort of litigation questions are, are are creating a new front for them altogether, and one that I don't think they saw coming. 
uh, this is disaster upon disaster. So we've got, I mean, they, 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 the judge has already ruled about what arguments can and cannot be presented here, right? They, the judge has already said on, on summary judgment that, like, it's it's false, right? You can't like you can't you can't argue in this court that actually it was there was you know right. maybe Joe Biden didn't win, right? Like so right. They, they they have to sort of I mean, argue this, this is actual a narrow case. Point. This is a right. narrow case, right? I mean, it's like most of the stuff has already been decided. It's false. It's defamatory. Right. You know, they published all this stuff. So all they're talking about is the actual malice standard, and that is a tough thing to prove. You know, Dominion has his work cut out on that front. But yep. it's remarkable how, how, how straight and narrow this case is. And one thing is not in, in, in dispute at all is Fox News' corruption as a media outlet. There's no question that it has no editorial integrity as exposed through this, this discovery. So there's not a lot really to, uh, to, to adjudicate vis-a-vis uh, -vis your average sort, of, um, average sort of defamation case. Um, so, 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 yeah, it's just this thin read of, of, of argument that's going to be uh, taking place in the courtroom. Yeah, and one of the people that that's going to be taking place with, it looks like uh, Rupert Murdoch himself may be called uh, as early as Monday. Right. We don't know, but there's some reporting to indicate that could happen. Uh, a lot of other folks from Bartiromo to Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity are expected. So it's going to be, it is going to be fascinating. I'm, I'm glad uh, that this is getting covered. You're down there, Eric Wemple. Thanks for uh, making some time with us tonight. Oh, thanks for having me on.